Welcome back as I continue on with Aragorn and Gimli into Chapter 3 of the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth game. Um, before we get started, just go over some items to level up. Lore, I have 10 lore, but unfortunately that's not enough to upgrade any of my items. But I do have enough XP that I could level up. So with Aragorn, under his captain role, he has several cards that I could upgrade, but unfortunately I want some of these that cost 12, so I won't be leveling up anything for him. But for Gimli, I am going to get the ready defense and move on with that skill. I'm going to keep the same rolls. Gimli stoops to the ground and traces the imprint of fresh tracks. Even as you determine their course, you sense something new in the air. Mixed in the cool but fading mists of morning, you smell smoke. Not the aged dash of last night's camp, but something current, something near. Each hero scouts three. And we have some maps that we will need to collect. We descend a wood bluff. Find a ruin hidden beneath the thick canopy of trees. A pain cough and a crackle of small fire echoes through the otherwise silent devastation. Place heroes as indicated. An old picket fence remains here, a remnant of an age where this area was more settled. Place a search token. See the flicker of a small fire and a woman clad in garb of the rangers of the north. A dark arrow protrudes from her thigh. Place a person token as indicated. You hear the clank of heavy armor drawing closer all around you. Place a goblin scout on the indicated space. Place a Goblin Scout on another indicated space. You can tell down here these are different levels. Examine the Wounded Ranger. Alright, so we've got the map set up. We'll go over the extra skill card of purchase for Gimli here. See it's ready to defense. You test to negate a wound or fear. Add a success. And it's got a guard to ability. So before we Scout, a little bit out of order here. Just wanted to show you that card. Scout 3. Well, we've got a fight coming up. So we'd definitely like a success on top. And we will prepare this. And put this on the bottom for Gimli. And then air going. We will prep the gift of men, put this on top and this on the bottom. And then we will proceed with, let's go ahead and just have Gimli take a move action and an attack. Let's see how nasty this guy's gonna be. So he's got two armor and three health. So we'll have Gimli do a Might attack, getting four cards. And the only success we got was the one we put on top of the deck. We have no inspiration to help. So we've got one hit. With his ability, we'll put that back on top of the deck. With one hit, Go to the app that gets us under and two damage and apply. Enemy will attack back. Agility will negate. His worst ability. So we've got one success, so he will prevent one wound from coming in and he will take one wound. Short of breath, discard all your boons. 
then flip this card face down. Currently no boons, but he's got one wound on him. And that was two actions for him. So Aragorn will come over and try to assist, use a movement. Hopefully he gets a few more successes, and but just the one we planted for him. So one success, which does two hits. Get in the app here. Apply that damage. And the enemy can attack. This is not going well. Then Goblin lets out a ear splitting cry, trying to unnerve you. You stand your ground, fixing an icy stare at the wretched creature. You will do a spirit to try to negate. And our heroes are off to a terrible start. You will negate nothing there. Take some fear. In fighting, each nearby hero flips. One face up wound, then flip this card face down. So Gimli flips this up, doesn't affect us, flips it back down. And that's our turn for our heroes. All right, this guy's gonna move and attack Gimli. Goblin parries your weapon, forcing it low and putting you off balance. Goblin smiles a terrible smile, knowing the attack has caught you off guard. Well, his might negates. And he has negated that attack. Confirm that. Threat increases by four. Rally phase. Tira resets her deck and then scouts two. And since they are both in the same space, Aragorn's ability will allow them to scout an additional card. Hopefully this round goes a little bit better. So we will Put on the olding spirit up. Definitely need to get a success. And an air drone. Well, this weakness is going to go in the bottom. Unyielding Spirit, we'll prep that and put this on top of the deck. All right, we will continue into the action phase. We are going to let Gimli go after our elite hero, or enemy, hero to the goblins. Doing four, three successes. We will put the Restless Axe back on top. Three successes is gonna do a little bit of overkill. So it's gonna have Sunder. Oh, because of the Battle Axe, eight hits and a Sunder. Too bad that couldn't swing over. Goblin Scout is down. And we'll let Gimli get the inspiration. Because he's going to do an another, another attack here. This guy just has one armor and three health. We know he has one success on top. So we've got two successes. 
and we will use that to get the six hits. And we will let Aragorn get that inspiration. For Aragorn's turn, we will interact with this token. The ranger skin is clammy and her head rocks weakly back and forth. We will examine the wound. Foul smelling black ichor drips from the wound. Dark veins creep from the gash in the ranger's thigh, reaching ever deeper under her skin. Catching your hand, she manages to rasp out a few words before succumbing to delirium. The dark aglantine, the hips of the dark aglantine, an antidote, please. Threat increases four. Their lore went up. There are several bundles of herbs and roots arrayed around the crude campsite. The ranger grabs an old recipe. Indeed, the only missing component is the dark aglantine of which she spoke. A sketch below the name shows a rose bush suspended from the ceiling of a cave. Perhaps you should start by finding a cave or hall. Lore increases by one. Now we will look for map tile 305B. Place an exploration token. Our objective updated. Search for the hips of dark aglantine that grow underground. And with Aragorn's second action, he will move over here. Oh, that guy's decapitated. And prep up to look for the search token. And that will conclude our hero's turn. To the shadow phase. Threat increases by five. Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck, then scouts two. And they are still nearby each other. So each will be able to scout three. Gimli's found a weakness. We will prep the Fury, put this on top of the deck, and the weakness on the bottom. And air going. Let's see here. We'll put the Wanderer prepped, and both of these on the bottom. And we will have him interact with that token. Back to the app. An old Picket Fitz remains here, a remnant of an age where this area was more settled. Searching there, approaching the fence, you see that someone passed by here recently, leaving quite a sturdy rope knotted around the rotting wood. Test wit, and we need two to succeed. So, his wit is three. Let's see here. We will use his inspiration so that we can get the two to pass. Not too tricky, but you have a clever eye and are able to work the rope free without cutting it. Discard the search token. You have gained the rope. You or a nearby hero may immediately equip it. So then we will go through our item deck. So the rope, when you interact with a token and test your might or agility, you may deplete this item to convert one fate to one success. 
and it will get two depletion markers on it. And for his second, we would just have him move two spaces, which will have him exploring this tile. Explore, confirm that. Several makeshift bridges and gates have been trussed to the crumbling ruins. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. So we'll give that back to Aragorn. Plus he had a card. If you explore a towel, your near, nearby hero may scout one. We will have him scout. Time of need. When you test, if you do not reveal any successes, you may discard this skill to convert all fates to success. So we'll prep that instead. Old stone signal tower, long past its prime, rises out of the edge of the crumbled wall. Place a search token as indicated. And now we will look for tile 208B. Place an exploration token. And 204B. And that gets an exploration token. Look for 207B. Put a token on that one. Foul creatures slink into sight, clearly hunting for the injured ranger and anyone who might aid her. Place an orc marauder. A goblin scout. Three oh six B and an exploration token. Three oh seven B and an exploration token on that tile. Your journey continues. So Aragorn has interacted with a token and moved, so Gimli will now move over and attack getting four cards. We have two successes. Go to the app and see if we need to do anything else. Two successes will give us six hits. And confirm. We can remove that Goblin Scout and give Gimli another inspiration. Along with putting one of those cards back on top of his deck. And that will conclude the hero's action phase. Into the shadow phase. We will move this enemy to attack Gimli. Orc snorts with exertion as it hefts a heavy axe. Agility negates. That can hurt. 
So we will use his boots. If you would test agility, we can instead test his might. So that will deplete his boots by one. So we have three successes there. And let's see if I've got anything else that can help him. Nope. So we will take out the three, negate the three damage, and let him get a fear. So hopelessness. Discard two prepared cards or suffer two face down fears, then discard this card. Well, that's going to be easy. Goodbye. It's two of his prepped cards. We will discard these two. Shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by nine. Which triggers something bad. A strange howl echoes all around you. Each hero suffers two fear. And they negate with wit. So on the Gimli, his ring mail will allow him to use his might instead. He has one success and he will use an inspiration to get two to negate both damage. And then Aragorn. He has a wisdom of four. And he will negate both damage from that. Rally phase. Chira resets their deck and scouts two. They are still both adjacent to each other. So Aragorn's ability will allow them to scout three. We'll prep Undying Might. Um, And put this on top and the other on the bottom. And Gimli. Take the poet's heart and prep that. And put both of these on the bottom. And on to our action phase. Since there's some fighting to be done, we will have Gimli do an attack. Getting four cards. Two successes and a fate. Let's take a look at uh, this enemy. So he's got two armor. So we will spin an inspiration to give us three successes, putting the restless axe back on top. And that will give us Sunder plus eight hits. and kill the orc and get his inspiration back. And 
coming in for action two. I feel like we are going to need to split the party. We will have him go over here to explore. Cave has been partially mine. This wall is faceted with old pickaxe wounds. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. With faint lines and whorls, some old carvings hint in a message inscribed in weathered stone. Place a search token as indicated. Your journey continues. And then Aragorn. First, he's going to use one of his prep cards. During your turn, you may discard the skill to discard a fear. So we will get rid of a fear he had received earlier. Also use another card. Start of your turn, you may discard the skill for you and a nearby hero to scout two. So that will affect both him and Gimli. It worked out well. We'll put this back on top and this on the bottom. Not prep anything. And then for Gimli, we will Prep the ready defense and put that back on top. So now his actual actions. He will move to so he can explore in that area. Got to get some of those tokens off the board. The faint smell of rotting apples wafts through the air as you enter the darkness. Discard the exploration token. Gain an inspiration. Chest made of store wood with iron fastenings apparently locked tight. Place a search token as indicated. An eglantine bush has taken root in the rocky ceiling that were... What remains of its weathered petals are deep purple that is almost black. To save the ranger, you will need as many of those rose hips that bulge beneath the flowers as you can harvest. Place a search token. Well, that's what we're down here looking for. Our journey continues. And that was two actions for each. To the shadow phase. Darkness step. Each hero... In darkness suffers to fear. Spirit will negate. So darkness, if you look, is the little symbol down here. So both our characters are currently in darkness. So Aragorn is probably going to get a little scared here. Nope, we have two successes, so he negated that. And Gimli, it's the Spirit of Four. And he will negate both of those. Shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by seven. Rally phase. Tier resets their deck and scouts two. So Aragorn will be able to scout three, but Gimli is far enough away that he will not benefit from Aragorn's ability. Ooh, Aragorn. Yeah, we will... Got a test coming up probably. We will prep this and put a success on top. And 
And his two cards. Now he's not fighting, so we will put this on top. And this card. I think we are going to prep that, removing honed agility. So we will have air going first move and then interact with this token. Picking the fruits. Simple, but they are precious few on such a scraggly plant. Lore increases by one, then place a search token on your hero sheet. This is an eglantine token. Now that you have found dark eglantine to prepare an antidote, you should help the ranger as soon as possible. However, it might be easier if you had more eglantine. Here with an eglantine token on their sheet may administer the antidote. Yep, I feel like one's not going to be, well, maybe it will be enough. Final objective, heal the ranger. Your enemy has taken notice of your plans and turns from their pursuit of Hanera to hunt you instead. Good times. Two goblin scouts. Over near Gimli. An orc marauder who's a little beefier. So Aragorn moved, searched. He still has one movement left to use. He will move back. Gimli, on the other hand, sees a fight coming and will charge right on in. So one move action, and then going in for the attack. Four cards, three successes. We will put the Restless Axe on top. Back to the app. So with three successes, he gets eight hits and a sunder. Which is enough to take out both of them. Took out two scouts and only gets one inspiration. But he's feeling pretty good anyway. So he moved, attacked, still has one movement left. We'll move up to take on the Orc Marauder. And that will complete the action phase. So the Orc will attack Gimli. The Orc screams a phase of such profane intensity you are sure you have been cursed. Spirit will negate. Gimli's best ability. All right, so he will one success and will spend an inspiration to negate both the wounds and after this attack, discard an inspiration. So no wounds, but loses yet another inspiration. Each hero in darkness suffers two fear. Aragorn is the only one in darkness. So two spirit. Two successes. We'll take that. Shadow deepens, though hope yet endures. Threat increases by seven, which is going to bring out something bad for us. Most of enemies search the area for the wounded ranger. It will not be long before you cross paths. Place an orc hunter.
Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and scouts two. With Aragorn's ability, he will be getting three, but Gimli is too far away to benefit. So, Aragorn. I think we will prep the Strider, put this on top of our deck, and this on the bottom. And Gimli, we'll get to look at two cards. see if he's got something actually didn't want to swap that out with any so we'll discard that and put this on the bottom of the deck and on to the action phase we will start with air going we use a move and then Use one of his prep cards to sprint during your turn. Discard to move a space. And then interact with our injured ranger and see what happens. Clean and dress her wound. The air is cruelly barbed and you worry you could poison yourself by acting with haste. Test Agility. That's a two. That's not the test we wanted. So one success. You brace both the ranger's leg and arrow, but hesitate to pull the barbed head out too quickly. Caution will serve you better now. Gain an inspiration. Probably should have searched the pack. Oh well, too late now. So Gimli is taking on some monsters. So he will take a swing. We'll target the big guy first. The huge Orc Marauder. All right, so four cards. Two successes and we will use an inspiration. To make that three, we'll put the Restless Axe back on top. So it's going to be eight hits with a Sunder. Leaving one. That's a bummer. Can the enemy attack? You betcha. Nork pulls a dagger from his boot and throws it at your head. Agility negates. Well, we'll use his last token on his boots so that we don't test agility. We will test might instead. We'll get two successes. Which will defend or negate that attack. And for a second attack, he will, hmm, do we split now? Now let's finish this guy off. So four cards, one success, which will get us two hits and a sunder. Gimli's a beast. Remove the Orc Marauder. He will take that Inspiration. And that's two actions for both. 
ending the action phase. Shadow phase comes on. He doesn't have to move. He's already in there with Gimli. Once again, that's going to hurt because now, let me see, I don't believe I have anything there. So, since we don't have a deck to draw from, we will shuffle his discard pile. Hoping that we can get a success on top. We did not get a success. So that's four wounds. We don't want to take four wounds. So we will use this card for its guard ability to prevent three wounds. So only one will come through. Laceration, that makes sense. Flip one damage face up, then flip this card face down. So this goes face up, discard all your boons. We don't have any. So we made it through that attack. Darkness stuff. Each hero in darkness suffers two fear. We don't have any in darkness. Threat increases by seven. The weight of every mile of road and wild you've traveled pushes down on you. Each hero discards one inspiration. That kind of hurts. Foul creatures slink into sight, clearly hunting for the injured ranger and anyone who might aid her. We will continue. But only after we put an orc marauder back on the board. Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and scouts too. And now our heroes are nearby each other, so both will be able to scout three. I'm thinking we want successes on top of our deck. And we will be well provisioned and put this on the bottom. And now Gimli. Three cards. He'll be doing some fighting, so we want a success, definitely. And we will use Undying Might. We'll have that prepped to give us another success during a fight. And put Ancient Wisdom on the bottom. And now to start our actions. Okay, first we will go with Aragorn to interact with the injured ranger. We will search the pack. The ranger traveled light, but you find a mortar and pestle and a small but comprehensive pharmacy of herbs. Threat decreases by four, lore increases by one. Then we will interact once again to clean and dress her wound. Once again, testing agility. All right, so agility of two. One success. Let me check our cards to see if anything will help us. Nothing that I see, so back to the app. Put our one success in. You brace both the ranger's leg and the arrow, but hesitate to pull the barbed head out too quickly. Caution will serve you better now. Gain an inspiration. I'm starting to think that 
One herb is not going to be enough. Anyway, Gimli is off to attack. So he is over here. Move him on the board so you can see him. Attacking this scout. One success. Let's see how beasty that guy is. That's pretty beasty. Has no inspiration. All right, we'll put that back on top of the deck. We will get Sunder plus two hits. Apply. Enemy will attack back. Might negates. Three successes. And we will use this to get our fourth success so that we take no damage this round. And confirm that. And then we will have him do a second attack. With one success. Can the enemy attack? Yes, it can. Oh, forgot. Since we attacked, we put one of those on top of our deck. See what happens with this attack here. Orc loses several arrows in quick succession. Agility negates. Well, we have one success there. And we will use our ready defense for the guard two to prevent the next two. So we've negated that entire attack. All actions are done. To the shadow phase. The orc will move on and attack Aragorn. Pulls a dagger from his boot and throws it at the head. So Aragorn, two cards, one success. And we will spend an inspiration to have two successes and negate those wounds. We have no heroes in darkness. Threat increases by seven. Rally phase. Each hero resets and scouts two. They are both nearby, so they will be able to scout three. this one and put the other one on top of the deck and the weakness on the bottom and let's see actually swap out undying might and for Gimli Hoping to get his restless axe. And 
And there's his restless axe. We will prep that. Put this on top of his deck. And the other card on the bottom. Let's see, how do we want to do this? We will use the restless axe. Allowing Gimli to get a free attack at the start of his turn with an additional two hits. Four cards. We have two successes. And with that, we'll get a total of eight hits. Oops. So the Orc Hunter will go down, and Gimli will get an inspiration. That was his free attack. So then he will move over here and take a swing at the other Orc. who is large with two armor and seven health. Oh, I think I forgot to put one back on top. Yes, we'll put Restless Axe back on top from the last attack. So we have two successes and we'll spend an inspiration to get three successes, putting Restless Axe back on top. So we'll get eight hits and sunder. Which is just enough. And he will get his inspiration back. And kick that guy off the board. Which leads it back to Aragorn. Clean and dress her wound. Testing agility. We have one success, and we will spin an inspiration for a second success. And hope two is the magic number. Carefully draw the arrow from the ranger's leg, and flush out the wound and apply a bandage. At least now the poisoning will not get worse before you can craft the antidote. Threat decreases four, gain an inspiration. So that means back into the tunnels. So Aragorn's second action will be a movement. One. Two. So that will end everyone's action phase. Darkness, that is just error going. So spirit test. That's negating, hmm. I'll spend both his inspiration to negate both those wounds. Or possible fear, sorry. Threat increases by seven. Host of enemies. We are getting ambushed again. Two goblin scouts. And another goblin scout. Rally phase. Etero resets her deck and scouts too. So they are not, I'm assuming because of the caves, they are not adjacent anymore. Or nearby. So air going. We will prep this, put both of these on the bottom. And 
We will end it that way. I keep forgetting to use time of need for Gimli. Hopefully this time I'll remember. Chip and put this on top. Starting the turn, we have Aragorn down here and interact with the token. Faint lines and whirls, some old carvings. We will search the weathered stone. Testing wisdom. Needing one. And we got one. Good thing we put that there. So we pass that test. The carving is a lineage unknown to you and written in an all but forgotten script. You note the names for later study. Lord increase is one. Gain an inspiration. That will come in handy. Then discard the search token. He has a movement left. And he will use this to sprint out of the darkness space. We'll go to Gimli's turn. He will move to and start an attack. Two successes. which should be enough. And we will put Restless Axe back on top. So six hits. Removing the Goblin and giving Gimli a little bit more inspiration. So that is it for actions for this round. Entering the shadow phase. They cannot get to Gimli by moving two, so there is no target. Goblin stalks after you, determined to draw blood, moves four spaces towards the closest hero. One, two, three. Now they have found Gimli. Darkness, each hero in darkness suffers two. Neither are in darkness. But it is getting evening. Uh, threat increases by seven. We are running out of time. So rally phase, reset decks and scout two. Oh, at the end of our Dula Recon, at the end of his turn, he's going to rest two. Discard at the end of turn to discard two face down wounds. So we'll get, remove two wounds from him. Now back to scouting. So that didn't affect anything. Three cards. Need him to run like crazy. Put a success on top. Prep that for now and put this on the bottom of his deck. Gimli will get two cards. We will prep Undying Might and put that on the bottom of his deck. Not really what we wanted to see there. All 
All right, on my last turn, I moved him to the wrong spot, but them's the choices we make. Uh, so to start off, we have Gimli make an attack against these two. They are large Goblin Scouts with some armor and five health each. So we have two successes, and I'll go ahead and spend an inspiration to make that three successes, putting one of these axes back on top. So in the app, we will get Sunder and eight hits. Removing one scout. Enemy can attack back. We know there's one success on top. We have two successes, so he negated both those wounds. And for his second action, he will attack again. Four cards. We have a success. With Sunder, and that should be enough to do it. Apply two hits. Another Goblin Scout is down by Gimli, and he gets an inspiration. Then we will have Aragorn do a move, and another move. Interacting with, or exploring. Tiled in cold stone, a council room, and tomb carry an air of solemn patience. Discard the exploration token, gain an inspiration. Book with thick gray binding has been discarded on the ground. Place a search token as indicated. Journey continues. So that was the actions. Shadow phase. Darkness step. That would just affect Aragorn. So he's going... With Spirit, one success. So he will take one fear. Just gloom, flip face down. Threat increases by six. Rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and scouts too. Three for Aragorn. Definitely prep the sprint. And put both these on the bottom. Gimli will get two cards. Prep the poet's heart. Put the other card on top. We will have Gimli move in here. Seeing what the explore token will do. 
It smell of rotting apples, wafts through the air as you enter the darkness, discard exploration token, gain an inspiration. Far ahead of you, you see an orc climb out of the hole and slink away, place a search token as indicated. A teen bush has taken root in the rocky ceiling. The remains of a withered petals are deep purple that is almost black. To save the ranger, you will need as many as rose hips that bulge beneath the flowers as you can harvest. Place a search token. Probably a little too late. But we found one. Journey continues. And then we will have Gimli interact with that search token. Picking the fruit, precious for a few, such a scraggly plant. Low increases by one, place this on your hero sheet. And continue. Nope, oh, we'll move back one space. Here we're going, we'll just run back. So movement, one, two. One, two. Action phase are complete. To the shadow phase. None of our heroes are in darkness, so we will continue. Threat increases by five. Well, we better be able to do it this time. Each hero resets their deck and then scouts two. We need anything that can help with an agility check, I'm assuming. Air going. Three cards. Honed agility. We will definitely prep that. And put these on the bottom. And Gimli. Getting two cards. Don't believe these are going to help. So we will discard the one and put the other one on the bottom. And then see if Aragorn can save the day now. Well, let's get Gimli over there first, just to see what happens. Gimli will move over to interact with the token. Minister the antidote. Using the mortar and pestle, you crush the eglantine hips into a paste. With only a list of ingredients to guide you, you try your best to formulate a healing ointment. Testing wisdom for Gimli, which is a two, add a success for each eglantine token on your sheet. All right, so wisdom of two, he has one success. We'll use an inspiration to make that two. And since he has one to search token, he will have three successes. Mixing the paste with the herbs the ranger had already gathered, he spread the resulting medicine onto the ranger's wound. Over the course of a few minutes, her skin flushes with new warmth and her breathing eases. With the help of the antidote, the ranger regains consciousness. Thank you, dear friends. It is by your hand that my life has been saved. I am Hanara of the Dundane. I'm probably messing up a lot of these words. Though if, if you found me, you likely already know that. I happened upon wandering orcs, a strange sight this far west of the mountains. I was already weak from the earlier battle, and well, you saw the result. You recount your own encounters with the orcs to the ranger, and she nods with growing understanding. In recent days I have heard of a man from the south who treats with bandits and worse. 
I learned too of a local scoundrel who carries information to Golgator. Felt sure they were connected. Tracked the spy out here, but they laid a clever trap for me. I never learned their identity or even saw their face. Need to share this information with the rest of the number? I know the spy frequents the Forsaken Inn, and you should hurry there before they catch wind of you. They will surely flee when they realize they are once again pursued. The heroes win. You have earned the aid of Hanara, a ranger of the north. She will continue to aid you in your quest to stop the orcs and the enemies they serve. Lore increases by two. Each hero receives four experience. Well, that was taking it down to the last second. So now we are ready to take on chapter four in our next adventure. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please click on the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.